hello everyone welcome back to true memory if this is your first time on this channel you are very very welcome it's not by accident that you go here my returning subscribers what can i say thank you very much for your support those who are working behind the scene to uh, keep this channel going thank you may the lord bless you abundantly with all the time you are spending on me just to keep this channel going those of you that i can't see you i don't know you god know you and god will visit you thank you very much i guess you are wondering where we are now we are in a dance again and this video that you are watching in front of you is previous one and that's my brother my late brother at the back uh, if the, my old subscribers will remember this uh, clip that I'm showing you here. When I was in Ghana, I took this video. That was the beginning of the building. I'm going to show you now that I'm going to talk about as well. When I made that video, I spoke and I said, if I have to start to build a house again, I'll build in my room before i start it outside and this is what i mean by building in a room before you start it means getting your materials ready that was the meaning that's how i call it <laughs> building uh, having the materials ready at least 50 to 70 percent ready it makes life easier because things are getting expensive every hour so if you made your mind to build just get the things done bit by bit it will take you years it will take you months it will take you days just gather everything make sure it's like 50 to 70 percent when you start you go faster you you i mean you go v like 50 percent that's what i mean 50% faster than when you just like our build foundation, leave it years, months, and then do it again, and then leave it, and then do it again. By getting the materials, it's much easier. I'm not saying building a house is easy, but I guess you, you, you can tell what I mean by building in your room. This is few months, but as you can see, the building is coming and on becoming in a good reality, in a good shape, as I already planned in my head for this owner. And I thank God I'm so happy. I'm sorry my voice is a bit tight this morning. Uh, this is the fifth time I'm trying to make this video, but I want to end this video today at all costs. So bear with me. This channel is to advise, motivate, encourage, use my experience, bad and good to encourage. And if one person, if two, if millions will listen to my advice and change something small in their life, I will be so happy. I will be so happy. I will be grateful. So please, as you are watching this video, take something from it. Share it. You know, leave a comment. Like it. It will help my channel. It will help my dream. Please, please share it. And follow me on this dream. This is not my house. It's not my building. It's for a friend. It is for a friend. And look at how it's going. I keep telling you, you can do it. If you put your mind into it, you can do it. It's easy. If you decide to do it, you can do it. I made a video about writing your goals down. You know, writing your goals down makes it... Um, easier as well it makes it easier as well because you know for one step you go two two you go three three you go four up to the end 
and it makes you work, concentrate on your goals. You know, never say it's too late. Never say I can't do it. You can do it. This building is for a woman. The exciting part of it is, is for a woman. So what are you doing as a man? You can also do it. A man can do it. A woman can do it. And I'm going to encourage my fellow women over there. Please, let's limit the handbags. Please, let's limit the parties. Please, let's limit the designers. I know, I know life is too short. I know life is too short and you have to live it once. But so far as you are living, live a legacy. Live something for your children. Live something so somebody can point at. Thank you. I hope you take one or two things. I'm not that there today. I still want to finish this video today. I don't know what you will take out of it. But the aim is to encourage someone day. The aim is to motivate someone day. The aim is to wake somebody up there. Especially those of us abroad. Those of us in abroad. You know, you don't have money, but when they call you, you send money. You don't have money, but when they call you, you go and borrow money. You don't have money, but when they call you, you go and borrow money. You can use that opportunity, the money you borrow, the overdraft that you are using, you can use it to start your own. Because at the end of the day, when you go back, these same people will point finger at you. Don't forget that. They will point finger at you and they will tell you you brought nothing. What have you done with your money? What have you done with your money? The same people you think you are helping will tell you that. Leave a legacy. It can be helping someone that needs help. I'm not saying don't help anyone. If somebody really needs help, help that person. But not somebody that will use your money to party whereby you are working hard day and night to get that money. That they will take your uh, kindness into granted. I'm saying a lot here. But I hope I'm talking to someone. I'm hoping that someone has wake up. I'm hoping that someone has been motivated. Get the blocks ready in abundantly enough to get you somewhere. The iron rods are getting expensive day by day as everything, as even food. You'll be scared you can't do it, but you can do it. The world is changing fast, but so do we. Small, small changes in your life. Small, small changes in your life will help you go far. Will help you go far. If it is the restaurant you go every weekend, the bar you go every weekend, maybe go once a month. Maybe go twice a month. Small, small changes in your life will make a big difference will make a big difference. Look at it. I'll keep updating you. Thank you very much for listening to my horrible voice today. Thank you. Um, this voice is not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. I will keep pushing. I will keep pushing. I hope I've wake somebody up. Thank you. You can see the other one in front of you over there. It's also for a friend, a lady. A lady. 
and I'm so happy. Things like this makes me happy. When somebody is happy, it makes me happy. When I see people improving in their lives, it makes me happy. So I'm happy. Thank you. And I hope you'll be happy for the person as well. And I hope your day will come as well when we can all rejoice for you as well. God bless you all. Keep sharing. Keep liking. Keep commenting. I want a lot of comments under this. Please. Thank you. God bless you once again. Bye.